In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve inequalities with addition and subtraction. Looking at this first problem, we have x plus 2 is greater than 3. We just pretend that this is an equal sign. So, to get x by itself, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Because whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So now we're going to be left with x is greater than 3 minus 2. So that means that x is greater than 3 minus 2 is simply 1. x is greater than 1 means that x is anything that is to the right of 1. So you would shade it in like this on a number line. This is saying that x can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20. x can even be 1.001. .001. It just has to be greater than 1. So we leave this circle unshaded because x cannot be 1. It has to be greater than that. Let's look at another example. x minus 4 is less than 2. So to start, again, Pretend that this is just an equal sign. We're going to move our negative 4 over. And to get rid of that, we're going to add 4 to both sides. So now we're going to have that x is less than 6. So graphing that, we're going to find 6 on the number line, circle it, but leave the circle unshaded because x cannot be 6. And if x is less than 6, that means that x is anything to the left of 6. So x can be anything from 5 to 0 to negative 5 to negative 10 and so on as long as it is to the left or less than 6. Looking at this next problem, we have 5 is greater than or equal to 3 plus x. We want the x by itself. So we're going to move the 3 over to the other side. Again, just pretend that this is an equal sign when you're moving things over. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides to get x by itself. That's going to leave us with 2. Bring down your inequality sign. Is greater than or equal to 3 minus 3 is 0 plus x. So we're going to have that 2 is greater than or equal to 0 plus x is just going to be x. So 2 is greater than or equal to x. This is the same thing as x is less than or equal to 2. You can rewrite it as with x on the left side if it's easier for you to see. But if you're switching your left and right sides, you also have to switch the way that your inequality faces. So now let's graph this. x is less than or equal to 2. So we're going to find 2 on the number line, circle it, but this is going to be filled in because x can be 2 because it's less than or equal to. So fill in that circle and then shade in everything to the left of it because x is anything that's less than or equal to 2. For our next problem, we have that x minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 7. We want the x all by itself, so we're going to move 2 to the other side. We'll get rid of the 2 by adding 2 to both sides. So x plus 0, bringing down your inequality, is less than or equal to negative 7 plus 2. x plus 0 is just x, and x is less than or equal to negative 7 plus 2 is going to be negative 5. So we have that x is less than or equal to negative 5. So we're going to find negative 5 on the number line, circle it, and since x is less than or equal to it, we can shade in that 5. Now, since x is less than negative 5, we're going to shade in everything to the left. 
So if it's less than, you shade in to the left. If it's greater than, you would shade in to the right. So x is less than or equal to negative 5.